when I was asked to lead the Malawi team, initially I was very excited. Malawi was somewhere that I'd never been before and it was this great opportunity to go with a group of teachers and to do some teacher training in that place. And yet there was this feeling of inadequacy. What was it going to be like? How on earth was I going to prepare the team? And what was my role as the team leader? Well, the Presbyterian Mission Overseas um, gave me a pilot version of the Do It Well toolkit. And one of the things for me as a leader was that it clarified what my role was to be as the leader, what the role of the sender was. In my case, the Board of Mission Overseas. In other people's case, it may be the church. The booklets raised a lot of issues that we would need to deal with in Malawi. So we thought about issues of health, we thought about issues of language and culture and one of the things that was highlighted in, in the booklet was a team covenant which we had made and, and stuck to during the time that we were in Malawi. And so it helped our relationships, we, be, we came to Malawi much more open to what God would do and I think we went with a servant's heart. I think it's important that teams are seen in the context of the wider church. There'll be a church that sends them out, but they will also be received by a church in the other country. And I think that booklet two allows them to consider the role of the church who will receive them and what they're going to do there. It's important that this team goes to serve the local church, not to do something that they want to do. And so it highlights what the church here is doing and what the church, our brothers and sisters in Christ, are doing in that other place and the partnership between the two. Booklet 3, Ready, Steady, Go, is a really practical booklet giving lots of ideas about what life might be like during the time that you're overseas. So looking at culture and language, the team life, both the spiritual and practical aspects of the team life and things like photography and keeping healthy during the time that you're there. At times people think that when the team comes home that's the end of it, but it's really not. It's just part of the journey. And the booklet, Finishing Well, allows the team to begin to process a little more and help their church, that sending church, to help them to do that. The debriefing process is really important as the team come home, giving them time and opportunity to process what has happened as they have seen so many things that have been different, maybe through times that have been difficult. And team life is not always easy and it's important to give the team time together to talk about it, to process and to pray, and how the team can really make an impact in the mission plan for the church and make a difference in the life of the church so that when they come home, it's not over, but the journey continues as they share what they have learned with the wider church. Booklet 5 provides some invaluable resources for churches who are planning to send a team overseas, taking them through the process of application forms, emergency protocols and evaluation forms that are already there for you to use and they can be downloaded from the Mission Overseas website. Well, the Presbyterian Mission Overseas provides training not only for teams but also for the churches who are sending them out during the year. And for us that was an invaluable resource because it complemented what was in the toolkit. It gave us time to consider things like adapting to a different culture, things like our health, spiritual well-being, team well-being, security, health and safety. And these are all really important aspects as you're going overseas, things that we need to consider. The Do It Well Mission Toolkit is an invaluable resource for the whole church, for the leaders, for those who will send out the team and for the team itself. As a leader, I found it to be practical and informative and it gave me the guidance and support that I needed during the process. Short-term teams are an incredible opportunity for individuals and groups within the church to experience what God is doing in other places in the world. And it's hugely important that we do it well.